Hey folks, Dennis Price, Mid-State RV Center. Want to take a couple of minutes of your time and show you this 2010 Coachman Catalina 29 RLS. That's a rear lounge with a slide out. The floor plan everybody wants. The two chairs in the back and the big slide out. Huge slide in this camper right here. Um, while we're outside, take a look at the slide and show you a couple of other things here. There's your wastewater holding tank and your pools. There's your cable, city water connection, and your outside shower. If you'll notice, this wastewater system's up front, not in the back behind the tire. So it's kind of nice if you had a blowout, you wouldn't really want it crushing that if it was in the rear. So that's kind of nice. It's up high. Pools are easy to get to. You don't have to climb underneath and grab these long handles. Uh, your low point drains are up here when you want to drain it for the winter time. You just kind of unscrew those and it drains all the water out. Uh, underneath there, the, the entire underbelly is heated and, and it's enclosed. Um, everything underneath there. No, nothing exposed. Keeps it warmer, keeps it cooler. Uh, easier to maintain because you don't have stuff coming off the road and going up underneath there and hitting your wires and hitting your pipes and everything. Uh, oops, pass through storage. Boo. Pass through storage here all the way through. Nice big doors. You can get you a table through there. Privacy from underneath that bedroom. Keeps the outside stuff outside and the inside stuff inside. Up front, you'll see we got the two 30 pound bottles, the big ones. Rock guard up front. Nice big gutter spouts. There's the other side where Rex just was on that pass through storage. Triple step one, two, three. Two doors. Door to the bedroom, door to the back. We're going to walk it through the back. Outdoor speakers. Cable. And a 110 outlet. Plug your television up. Watch the game. E-coated wheels. These right here, unlike the white ones and some of the other ones, they won't rust. And that's nice because it doesn't take real long to, for some of those other ones to rust up. So it gives it a nice look, nice finish. Um, you know, this is your vacation home. You want it to look nice. 10 Coachman Catalina 29 RLS RLS RL rear lounge is what everybody wants like the big window in the back the two chairs um, easy in and out by the door nice end table jealousy style windows here to crank out and get you a little cross ventilation going on um, weight on this camper 6,329 pounds so this could definitely be pulled by most half done trucks um, some of your bigger six cylinders, like your trailblazers and stuff, they can actually pull one of these too. So um, it is definitely half ton towable. Um, over here to the kitchen area, you'll see this beautiful oil rubbed bronze faucet. And as you look around the camper, you'll see that the handles and the hinges and everything match up. So they didn't go cheap right there. Gooseneck faucet, get that big spaghetti pot in there, get it clean. Do you have a nice sink cover right here? A little bit of um, counter space here. I say a little bit. I apologize for that. A lot of counter space compared to most campers that have a rear lounge setup. Most of them just have the sink right here and then they don't have this. So that's really nice. Your controls right here for your water heater, your water pump, your monitor panel, and your slide in and out, a 110 outlet, and your light switches. Everything's nice and convenient all together. Not here, 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 and here. So you know where it's at. Um, coming over here. Take a look at that storage underneath there. You can actually put a small one of those little small trash cans underneath there because it's so tall. Instead of having that Walmart sack tied to the handle there. If you've been camping, you know what I'm talking about. Three drawers. Of course, you've got your refrigerator, freezer, double door. It is the Dometic. Nice finish on it. Won't show the dirt. Easy to clean off. And it is gas and electric, of course. And come on down here and take a look at this. Look at this pantry space. This is humongous. There's, I, I don't believe there's a half ton towable rear lounge that has some of the features that this one does. Counter space, this pantry space, and when we walk back here to the back in a minute, I'll show you the other stuff. Now, over here in the slide out, you'll see a nice jackknife sofa here, storage underneath, so an adult can sleep very comfortable there. More storage up top, we'll rub bronze, mm-hmm. Nice windows on the side, jealousy style right there, and a nice touch here, nice residential looking light instead of all the plastic ones and then again right here really nice booth dinette storage underneath both the booths 
You see it's got the, um, the pedestal table and not the one that's actually attached to the wall. If you've had campers before that had that, you know how easy it is for them just to come away from the wall. Everything's rounded here. No right angles. You have to worry about the kids rubbing up against it and scratching the legs. Over here, television. And everybody's like, well, how can I get a TV in there? Well, this is where you put one of those swing arms on there. Put you a flat screen. This is your AM, FM, uh, CD player. Uh, all your controls right here. Speaker controls to play it on the outside, play it in the bedroom. Little storage there and a 110 outlet. Now we're going to walk on to the back. And the, when Rex pans to the left right here, this is what everybody loves right here. This is a stand-up corner shower and a half-ton towable rear lounge camper. Nobody, nobody has this. Nobody. Take a look at this. Still one with that old rub bronze. You know, they could have gone cheap in here, but they didn't. Place to put your shampoo and everything. It's got the rain glass on it. Have a little bit of privacy. Nice medicine cabinet. Nice sink again. Oil rub bronze. I'm getting where I like saying that. Good storage for your towels. Nice lights. One, two. Air vent. And then over here, you got your separate potty room. All by yourself. Close the door. Great storage for your towels. Vent fan. Lots of room in here. And you notice here, you actually look down right here and see the laminate. Of course, here all the way to the front. Got privacy here, privacy there, and even a door back here. So, back here in the bedroom area, we'll take this right here and unbuckle it and slide that across about that privacy. Um, that's that second door. A lot of people like it for the convenience and for safety wise. You know, you've got that second door just in case something happens. We hope it doesn't, but just in case. Um, take a look over here. Nice headboard look, nice residential feel. That's a really nice comforter. Very comfortable mattress. It's not a pillow top, but it's, uh, it's a light years ahead of what they used to be. Underneath here, you've got your bedroom storage. I mean, bed storage underneath. And you can see that wall right there that separates that outside inside storage that I was talking about. These nice shocks here. Up top, these are huge. Check it out, right? See how deep they are? And they'll wrap around here to the left and to the right. You have plenty of places to put hanging stuff. You've got a great cubby hole in here, a 110 outlet. And then over to the left right there, look at that end tip. It goes all the way to the back. You can put tons of stuff in there, plug the phone in there. But here's the big treat. Place for a television. Check that out. Humongous. All your hanging clothes for people the full time. Um, that don't have the big diesel trucks that want something smaller, something lightweight, but they still want the storage. You know, not everybody wants to go to that 38 foot fifth wheel to get all that storage and that corner shower and that rear lounge look. So, um, this camera's got so many options. It's beautiful inside and out, tons of pantry space, great counter space, big wind in the back, two door, uh, residential lighting. You know, I can go on and on and on, but let me show you this one in person. I'm Dennis Price here at Mid State RV Center. Love to show you this 2010 Coachman Catalina 29 RLS. Thanks, guys.